France isn't exactly known for its breakfast, and you might be thinking, but they've got croissants and pain au chocolat, and you'd be right, but if you're thinking of like brunch, you know, hearty food, not what the French are known for. However, that's changing. Today, we're gonna take you to some of the best brunch spots in Paris that have popped up, and in case you're looking for something a little bit more substantial than a buttery, flaky croissant, I mean, which is still delicious, this is the list for you. All right, Cooper? No brunch for you, though. Welcome to Paris in My Pockets, Best Brunch in Paris, our first installment. I'm sure there's gonna be more. We're starting off with Fitzroy. This is a spot that I didn't intend to include, but then we got invited to have brunch here, and the brunch was pretty tasty, as you'll see here in a minute. Fitzroy's got a multiple personality disorder where in, by day it's a brunch spot, it's really chill, you know, nice vibe, and then in the evening it is a party central cocktail bar, they've got beer on tap, they have live music, and they have dancing, depending on the night when you come. So if you wanna come in the afternoon or the morning just to have some nice eggs and you know not get pushed around, that might be your vibe, but if you wanna get shoved around, maybe meet somebody, go home and not alone, then maybe the evening spot is your, uh, that's, maybe that's your vibe. Unless it's Sunday, in which case brunch is apparently a madhouse and they've got a line around the corner. So if you're on vacation, you know, come on a Tuesday. Nobody's stopping you, it's vacation. So what we ended up getting, obviously we started with the citronade, which is very good. If you're looking for lemonade, it's not lemonade exactly. It's not that sweet. It's a little bit, uh, would you say bitter? It's got a tang to it. It's very nice, but it's really good. It's ice cold and it's homemade and you can get it flat or sparkling. We got it sparkling, of course. Then I got the huevos rancheros. So they've got brunch all day. You don't have to get brunch. There's other options like the Caesar salad that Sarah got on her hunt for the best Caesar salad in Paris, which hopefully this satisfies it. Her Caesar salad has fried chicken, bacon. I think instead of croutons, she got fried chicken, which is actually probably going to put it in the running for the best. The Huevos Rancheros has fried eggs, which look really well done. Some charred, it's actually like sausage. So we've got sausage, some uh, charred tomatoes, avocado, black beans, and then uh, crispy potatoes as well. Looks very, very good. This place also doubles as like a cocktail bar at night, so you'll see a little bit of crossover maybe with the cocktail video. Maybe not, we'll find out. But if you wanna get a cheeky cocktail after your brunch, yeah, nobody's stopping you. Go for it. It's not something I've had in a Caesar salad before. Um, I, I'm not gonna say this is a Caesar salad because this anise addition, I don't really like anise. Okay, I don't like enough. licorice uh, flavor. Yeah. It's interesting, like I, I, I like it, I'm gonna eat it, but I'm like, it's not Caesar salad. It's like trying to find milkshakes in this city, also don't exist. Of course we had to try and get the coffee. They have a Brazilian on today. I've heard good things, smells really good, and the carrot cake. They have a whole bunch of different desserts we could have tried. I was up between the apple crumble and the carrot cake. Uh, the carrot cake was a good call. It's got some cinnamon, walnuts, really good cream cheese frosting. We have no idea what the creamy uh, lump is next to it. I'm sure it'll also be good. Actually, I'll just try that and see what it is. I think it is creme fraiche. It's like savory. Okay, that's weird, but the rest of it's very good. This, it's the spot. Actually, the creme fraiche went really well with that, so that was a good combination. Get your desserts, get your brunch. This is a great spot for lunch. Uh, and I think with the fries and burger options, there's some sandwiches too. If you've got somebody in your family who hates eggs, has to have a burger wherever you go, still like you. Beer on tap too, I think. Yeah, good. Uh. Definitely a cool spot. I will definitely be back. Standing here in front of Holly Belly Five, the OG brunch spot in town. They've been around for quite a while. It's a French couple that lived in Australia, were introduced to the concept of brunch, and then decided they should bring that back to France. And we are so glad they did. Their pancakes. I don't like pancakes. I don't eat pancakes. I love their pancakes. They're very good. We're gonna get some pancakes. It's pancake time. Did the line switch behind us? The one downside to Holy Belly, or Holy Belly, however you say it, is there's like always a line. But if you've got the time, it's worth it. The style of this place is where it's at. The thing is that normally I would get the savory stack. It's my favorite thing. I've never actually had anything else here because I love it so much. But since Matt was getting it, that can go on camera. I can try something else. They've got some homemade fried chicken here along with like a spicy mayo, I believe, and the homemade ketchup. Oh wow, that was really good. Wow, I've been craving fried chicken. That's light, crispy, moist on the inside. Mm. How's your savory stack? You can't even hear me, he's so deep in it. Oh. <laughs> pancake transfer. <laughs> this one's got the pancakes, mushrooms, bacon, two fried eggs, and the bourbon butter. Let's see what this is like with the homemade ketchup. <laughs> okay, that can happen. I didn't know that could happen. The chicken just slid out of the breading. 
That was delicious. I wasn't really a fan of the rice in the end, but the chicken was perfect. I just happened to drop one of them on the floor. Squeaky fingers, so watch out for that. But otherwise, fantastic. On to the next spot. I'm really excited for this. Good News Coffee is one of my favorite places in town. I know Fox, the owner, it's been open for a few years now and it is one of the best coffee shops in Paris. They always have a very nice selection of coffees on hand. They'll make a pour over for you, but the food is all made in house as well. They make their own pastries, they make everything short of probably their own salt. I don't think they get that uh, from like the street, but they definitely make really, really good food. The people that work here are very, very friendly. And I just, I just love this place. They do kind of an a la carte brunch now where you put yours together as you go. And if you're really lucky, you'll get a delicious sausage roll. But otherwise, they've got juice, they've got coffee, they've got tea, they have everything that you could possibly want. And the pastries are so good. Let's go eat. Oh, I cannot wait. So we start with the pastry spread. Really good. The cookies, I'm obsessed with the double chocolate cookie here. It reminds me of my childhood. And I used to make a double chocolate cookie like that when I was a kid. Phenomenal. But the carrot cake is one of my favorite carrot cakes in the entire city. Cream cheese frosting with like a little bit of a citrusy twist to it. So good. And then the cinnamon roll. One of the things about the cinnamon roll that you won't find pretty much anywhere else in Paris is a frosted cinnamon roll, which if you're an American, that's exactly how you think of cinnamon rolls. If you're Danish, may not be what you're looking for exactly, but you can find those much more easily all over the city. And then for the eats, I got the uh, granola and yogurt bowl. That's gonna be really good. This is a mini one. They can do a mini one or a full size one. And then Kate got the avocado toast with an egg benny on top. Freaking amazing, super good. Sell it on the side. I've had it a bunch of times. I want it so badly, but again, trying to keep things a little bit smaller <laughs> this time for me. Coffee, we're doing some batch brew. Kate started with a uh, cappuccino, which was phenomenal. Uh, they made us another one that was even prettier, which is very nice of them. And then uh, you can also, if you don't want a batch brew, they'll make you a pour over of the variety of coffees they have on hand. They always have a whole bunch of different coffees from different roasters from all over the world, often local, sometimes from the Nordic countries. You just never know what you're gonna get. It's always really good. I love this place. It's one of my favorite places in Paris. I love this place. And thanks to today's patron producer, Jay Sharp. Thanks for putting us out here and helping to uh, feed both Cooper and I, mostly me. He doesn't eat that much, but man, I could, I could just keep eating all this brunch all day. I'm not gonna lie. One of my favorite places anywhere in Paris is Très au Jardin, or 13 at the Garden. They're right across the street from the Luxembourg Gardens, and they make the best brunch. It's so delicious. Eggs Benedict, or as I'm about to have, a like French toast made out of biscuits. Everything's very Southern. It's a very American comfort food, rich, flavorful, but fresh. fresh. I got the chicken French toast, which still comes on biscuits. Here's the thing about Trez. Their biscuits are amazing. It's a very Southern style everything. And uh, I've never had French toast biscuits before. Holy cow. Who needs bread? Make a biscuit. I guess they make, I would guess that they make the biscuit first and then egg it and fry it and turn it into French toast. And wow, holy cow, with a little bit of breaded chicken. I think there are cranberries, some seeds, maple syrup, and then roasted apples on mine as well. That's a really good combination. I'm not usually a French toast person, but I wanted to try it. And boy, is it worth it. Their eggs Benedict are also phenomenal. Wanted to get those, but don't want to waste food, so we're not going to go crazy on what we order, but you, you know, it's worth it. This is one of the friendliest places in town. I also got an orange apple carrot lemon juice, the booster. It's really good. All the fresh juices are delicious. Their booze is really good too. If you ever want to get like a boozy lemonade during the summer, sit on the terrace. This is a perfect spot to come after you have a nice long walk in the Jardin de Luxembourg and uh, calorie back up. Or relax with a cold beer, whatever you want. And their desserts, whew. And if you're looking for a little touch of the States while you're here, or you're just looking for a really good boozy lemonade to sit and enjoy in the sun after a stroll through the Luxembourg Gardens, this is the place to do it. Highly recommended. They've been friends for a long time. They've been involved in a number of my projects in the past. If you're looking for a brunch spot on the left bank, near garden, the, the Luxembourg Gardens, the Pantheon, Sorbonne, this is the place to do it. Right, Cooper? Yeah. If you find yourself at Montmartre and you're looking for a little bit of brunch, uh, don't wander back down the hill. Come up, see Sacré-Cœur, and just go right around the corner here on Rue Lamarque. You're gonna find 
Hardware Society. The fun thing about this is an Australian couple that were very successful in Melbourne, so the story goes, and decided one day, you know what? We want to take brunch to Paris. And then they just did it. And somehow it worked. And somehow it stuck. And they were going to close down a couple years ago. So it's one of those mysteries like, are they still open? Are they not? They are. But who knows if they will or won't be in the future. So you definitely want to hit it up while you're here. I'm really curious about this tiny little donut situation. At least I'm assuming it's a tiny little donut. It is a donut hole. Mm. We had a really hard time choosing because there were a lot of really good options. And the only thing they didn't have today was the tuna. But what I honestly, what I really, really wanted was the scrambled eggs. Comes on a brioche, looked phenomenal. When I asked her, she said, though, if this is your first time here, you have to try the brioche. So I went for the brioche. This is the most intense French toast I think I've ever seen in my life. The ladies went with the Continental, which is a nice combination of you've got your grapefruit, a pan au chocolat, and yogurt with some granola. Looks very good. And is that a passion fruit in the yogurt? Passion fruit in the yogurt, coconut yogurt. Coconut yogurt. Glazed grapefruit. Glazed grapefruit. Pan au chocolat. Mm -hmm. And orange juice. There's too much to possibly eat here. Great. And if you're cheeky, you can take a little peek out the back window and see a little bit of Paris over the rooftops and otherwise just enjoy the chill vibes. See how this goes. Oh my God. Insane. Wow. It's just like eating dessert for breakfast, basically. It comes with lemon meringue. I forgot to mention that. I didn't say what was on it. Like cream, raspberry, lemon meringue. I don't think it's marshmallow, but whatever's going on, my mind is being blown and I can't think straight. It's really, really good. If you're looking for like a very sweet brunch, highly recommend it. Also, uh, the scrambled eggs look delicious and phenomenal. And I mean, look, at, at the end of the day, you, you had to hike all the way up this hill. You've burned so many calories. You've earned some delicious sweets and some coffee. You, it's gonna be great. We're at Capital for brunch to work off the hangover, uh, which is a fantastic location to be. How you doing? This guy stayed with his uncle overnight. And uh, yeah. Sure. Anyways, this place is a little bit of a French twist on brunch. I'm really excited because it was recommended to me by my friend Lindsay and uh, it's gonna be very different from anything that we've done so far. And the one thing that I'm most excited for is the savory croissant. Finding a croissant, you'd be surprised in the land of croissants, the best croissants in the world. A croissant is not something that you can easily or readily find. Today, we're gonna solve that problem. Normally there's a line out here. Thankfully we just are a line of one today. And since I'm here by myself this morning, uh, because Lindsay couldn't make it last minute, I uh, should get in fairly quickly. They've got a lot going on here. One of the things that I really want to see in real life is the Waffle Witch, which has got smoked turkey and mimolette, which is one of my favorite hard cheeses. But I have to get the croissant witch. The croissant witch is what I came for. The croissant witch is what has to happen. That's why you have to have brunch buddies. But hopefully these guys, I think these guys have already eaten, unfortunately. And they've taken my dog, so no footage out of them. And, and now I don't have a dog. That'll cure everything that ails me right now. It's so fresh. You can't tell what I like best about this thing, but the extra little crunch from the potato chips adds so, so much, but do this sauce with these eggs. Killer. I forgot to mention, you can find yourself on the 19th or the 20th, and you should. My favorite part Bouchon, like one of my favorite parks in the city, if not my favorite park in the city. It's a little bit out of the way. Not near many touristy things, but if you do find yourself wanting to go for a walk in an amazing park and grab some brunch on the weekend, they only do brunch on the weekends, according to their Instagram, at least, and I can ask and I can double check. A weekend stroll through the park and a brunch here would definitely do you right. Well worth the 40 minutes it took me to get here and the wait. Also, the music in there was on point. Whoever had that playlist going, Solid. Capital, Belleville, I'll be back. Thanks for watching. This has been Paris in My Pocket's Guide to Brunch in Paris. I'm sure the first of many because there's so much good brunch coming in. If you need a more brunch recommendations or more recommendations in general, whether that's for restaurants, places to stay, where to stay in Paris, how to avoid scams, all kinds of good stuff, it's in my guide, which you can get over at parisinmypocket.com. Jump on over, grab that, and uh, watch some more of our videos. Why not the one about coffee? If you like brunch, you're probably into coffee. Coffee Roasters in Paris, that's a good one to go watch. Are the credits done yet? I don't know. Thanks for watching. <laughs>